Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Crypto Roundup Show. I am your host, Daniel Elving, and thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, ping the notification bell, like this video, and comment down below. That will help us out a lot. So what are we talking about today? Well, I'm going to tell you some news you should know, as well as what's happening in NFTs and in the metaverse. So let's begin. So the first news story I want to share with you guys today is that JP Morgan is developing a quantum key distribution for blockchain protection. As you know, quantum computing remains to be a threat for blockchain for security. And later down the road, when quantum computing develops, it's going to be more of a threat for people who are going to try to use that to penetrate blockchain. And so JP Morgan is developing what's known as QKD, Quantum Key Distribution for Blockchain Protection. And so JP Morgan has pioneered quantum protection mechanism meant to safeguard blockchain networks against quantum attacks. And so the quantum key distribution test deployment was developed through a collaboration effort between JP Morgan, Toshiba, and Siena. And so... QKD is the only mechanism that has been numerically proven to be an effective defense against quantum computing attacks. So with combination of cryptography, quantum mechanics are the principles of working with QKD. And it would enable two parties to share data safely while protecting them against third-party invasion. And so according to Marco... The esteemed engineer and executive at Flare Research Group, security is vital to Morgan Chase. QKD technology qualifies as a full security measure against blockchain hacking and a formidable opponent for quantum computers. And as you may or may not already know, JP Morgan is the first bank to enter the metaverse, looking at business opportunities in the metaverse. So the Wall Street Bank is open to lounge in blockchain-based Decentraland. And so with this, according to Christian, the JP Morgan's head of crypto and the metaverse, there is a lot of client interest to learn more about the metaverse. We put together our white paper to help clients cut through the noise and highlight what the current reality is and what needs to be built Next in technology, commercial infrastructure, privacy, identity, and workforce in order to maximize the full potential of our lives in the metaverse. And so they've done some calculations and the average price of a parcel of land has doubled in the later half of the 2021 from $6,000 in June to $12,000 in December. And that was across four Web3 metaverse platforms, which was Decentraland, Sandbox, Sonium space and crypto voxels. And according to JP Morgan, in time, the virtual real estate market could start seeing services much like in the physical world, including credit, mortgages, and rental agreements. So the decentralized finance collateral management could well come into play. And this could be done by decentralized autonomous organizations known as DAOs. So the work in the metaverse will also be gainful. And there's a prediction that in-game ad spending could reach $18.41 billion by 2027, according to JP Morgan. And according to the bank report, we believe the existing virtual gaming landscape, each virtual world with its own population, GDP, and game currency and digital assets, has elements that parallel the existing global economy. This is where our long-standing core competencies in cross-border payments, foreign exchange, financial assets, creation, trading, and safekeeping, in addition to our at-scale consumer foothold, can play a major role in the metaverse. And what's happening in the metaverse? Snoop Dogg is launching his own avatar NFTs via the sandbox. And so that is planning to launch on February 22nd. As you know, he performed for the Super Bowl. And he's really big in the metaverse and NFT space. And so he's launching 
his own NFT avatars. And of course, these avatars are built with the voxel edit. And so I will show you that. This is the voxel, the voxel edit I'll show you later. So he's creating 10,000 NFTs that were designed and created by Snoop himself. And according to the website, each avatar will unlock unique utility that goes beyond a simple NFT. They will be playable in the sandbox that can be used to unlock future mints and futures in the metaverse. And so they will also be part of his music video that will happen in the sandbox. And so, he, as you know, Snoop Dogg partnered with Sandbox back in September of 2021. And he also did a recreation of his mansion in that metaverse. And he plans to perform live concerts and interact with players inside the metaverse. And, of course, you know, he's doing his own Snoopverse, so to speak. And so with the, the Voxel Edit, this is a website that you can go to, voxedit.io. And so if you want to create your own NFTs that's going to be compatible to be used in the Sandbox Metaverse, you use this platform that creates a Voxel NFT for you to use in the Sandbox Metaverse, which is a 3D NFT to be used in Sandbox. And so anyone out there who is interested, totally recommend you use voxedit.io if you want to create your own Sandbox NFT to be used in that Metaverse. And another thing with Snoop Dogg is that he's planning to make the Death Row Records, the music label that he bought out, the, to be the first NFT music label. And so he plans to turn Death Row Records into a non-fungible token label and be the first record label in the metaverse. And according to Snoop, Death Row will be an NFT label. We'll be putting out artists through the metaverse and a whole nother chain of music. Just like when we broke the industry, when we were the first independent to be major, I want to be the first major in the metaverse. And so, as you know, that, you know, when Gala gone up significantly from last week, well, Snoop launched his Sky, his stash box NFTs, and that caused Gala Games to, you know, the crypto to jump significantly. And so that's something I just wanted to share with you guys, what's going on with that. And what's happening now is Disney is getting ready to enter the metaverse. And so the CEO is calling it the next storytelling frontier, which is pretty awesome. So Disney has promoted an executive to lead its metaverse efforts. And the CEO said he's been blown away by the firm's work so far. So the Disney appointed Mike White to lead its metaverse push. And the CEO, Bob, said that the team across the company are already working on the metaverse. And so we soon could see Disney's library of characters, properties, experiences in the metaverse as the future vision of the internet develops and creation of new position to oversee its metaverse plans. And so according to CEO Bob, they promoted Mike White to the senior vice president Next Generation Storytelling and cons Consumer Experiences. That's a pretty cool title to have. And so the position will focus on Disney's work toward metaverse experiences. And so out of the 100 years of technological innovation from Disney and the development of various environment entertainment properties, they all can come together in the metaverse, and Disney believes this. And so according to the CEO of Disney, this is the so-called metaverse, which I believe is the next great storytelling frontier and the perfect place to pursue our strategic pillars of storytelling, excellence, innovation, and audience focus. Teams across the company are exploring this new canvas, and I've been blown away by what I've seen. And so they're preparing for their own metaverse and so it'll be exciting to see how Disney develops this in the future. And for next coming news, we have Twitter that is adding Ethereum wallet support to tipping. So, so you know, they did the Bitcoin for tipping and now they've added Ethereum. So this will be interesting to see how many people decide to tip with using Ethereum. And so the spokesperson said the new feature doesn't support Ethereum name service domain names, unfortunately. So according to Johnny Winston, who is the lead product manager of creator monetization at Twitter, 
We're continuing to expand ways to get paid on Twitter, which includes more choices for creators and fans who want to use crypto. We're excited to add the ability for anyone to add their ETH addresses to tips. And Twitter is also making tips available in Nigeria, Ghana, and India. And for the next news I wanted to share with you is that the New York Stock Exchange files trademark applications to trade NFTs. So they filed the, an NFT trademark application with the United States Patent and Trademarks Office on February 10th, aiming to enter the world of the NFT market. So this mainly involves virtual reality, augmented reality software, non-fungible tokens for online markets. And so they hope to offer downloadable virtual goods for NFTs and digital collectibles using blockchain technology for authentication. So according to the New York Stock Exchange, many more NYSE NFTs to come as we continue to welcome new innovative companies to our community. And so their determination and plans to launch the NFT market and explore the blockchain and NFT market is what's being implied by this patent. And as you know, last year they launched the first class of their NFTs to celebrate the IPOs of certain stocks. And so this will be interesting to see how they enter this space. And so that is all I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the Crypto Roundup Show.